later. First example is 4x squared minus 3x. The first thing that we're going to do with this is factor each term. What is 4x squared equal? 2 times 2 times x times x. What is negative 3x equal? 3 times negative 1. Negative 1 times 3 times x. We tend to put them in order, and if there's a negative 1, put it first, because it's the lowest of the factors. What does it have in common? I want you to think of factoring as basically not just breaking things into pieces, but when we're factoring by GCF, we're basically saying we're dividing it. If I take both of these terms and divide them by x, what am I going to be left with here? It's really right here when we pulled it apart. What's left here is 4 and an x. What's left down here? Which becomes? So I'm going to rewrite it as a binomial with negative 3. I'm going to put it in parentheses. And in front of the parentheses, guess what goes there? The x that we pulled out. When we factor by GCF, we're basically taking the terms and we're dividing them by what they have in common. It's the opposite of the claw. Do you see it being the opposite of distributive property? Because how would I check this? I would say x times 4x minus 3. I would distribute this x back. And if it's right, we should come back to what we started with here. What's x times 4x? And what's negative 3 times x? And that's how we know that it checks. Oops, I'm sorry, I was off screen for that. Do you see how they're the opposite of each other? Distributive property is the multiplication, factoring is the division. Do you see the relationship? They're inverses. Let's try another one that's a little bit more complex because it's a trinomial. Let me know if I go off screen, please. Okay. Ten. <laughs> right away. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit. Let's try 10y to the third plus 20y to the second minus 5y. I have three terms I have to factor. 10y to the third, 20y to the second, negative 5y. These are all numbers that are pretty familiar, but you can do birthday cake or, or tree if you want. Prime factors of 10 is going to be 2 and 5. And then how many y's are there? 3. What's going on with the 20? It just has one more 2 than this one, right? Because it's 10 times 2. And 2 y's. And then what about the last term? Negative 1 times? 5. 5 times? Y. Okay. This last one really kind of determines because it has so little in it. What it has that are in common up above is what we're going to end up using. We have a 5. And? Y. A Y. A y. So we're going to go back and put that term in the front and then make our parentheses. And we're going to divide 5y from 10y squared. What's 10 divided by 5? What's y, I said y squared. What's y to the third divided by y? y to the third divided by y is going to be 2y squared. Which is what we left down here uncircled, right? Plus 
20 divided by 5 gives us 4. y squared divided by y gives us y. The negative 1 is still down here, right? So this is going to be a negative term. And is anything else here? You have to make the 1 visible then. Because when you go to distribute this back, if that negative 1 isn't there, you'll forget that last term. It's helpful. I know it seems tedious to write these out. But until you get used to them, it will really help you see. Because you could just go down here and say, well, the first term is 2y squared because there's a 2 and 2y's left. Middle term is 4y because that's what was left. What's the last term? Negative 1. Okay. Question? And inside the parentheses should have the same number of terms as what we started with. This was a trinomial, so inside here it's going to be a trinomial. How can I check this? I can do distributive property, or I can use the box method. Do you see what I'm doing to check it there? It's a different way of doing distributive property. This would be 10y to the third. This would be 20y squared and negative 5y. Do my terms in the boxes match the terms here? Then I can check. Okay? You guys ready to practice some of these? Yes. Okay. I'm going to give you a few practice problems from both sections. We just did lessons from 8.1 and 8.2. We're not done with 8.2, but that's all we're going to do today. So a little bit of homework, which hopefully you can get done here in class. Oh, page 555. That was my brownie trip number when I was little. Brownie Girl Scout. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to do numbers 1 through 10 on page 555. I'll get the light stems. This is easier to see. Actually, I'll just write it here. Yeah, go ahead, Mylon. <clears throat> and on page 547, the other types of problems we practice, you're going to do 17 through 20, 25 to 30. On the binder paper, you did the other practice problems on. So we're doing both? We're doing both. 